Hi guys and welcome back. My name is Isa and welcome to my channel Printstick. So today's video is going to be very interesting because I will show you how you can really get creative. I have been using the Pro Planner lately and I love it. And the biggest feature of the Pro Planner is that it has every single day of the year linked to its own spread. So it's really cool because you can really plan out each day with a lot of detail. Now, as you know, I'm always trying to make you, you know, be creative and use things that you already have and manage to do what you want with what you have already so in this case what you might have already is the print stick planner and if you don't have it then check out my first video in this series I'm gonna link it below to see how you can download it but so the print stick planner is a lot simpler it comes with monthly and weekly spreads but it does not come with a daily spread you do get your empty pages your blank pages and we're gonna copy one of those and we're gonna create our own daily spread now this time I will be using stickers to create my boxes and the little elements that I want my daily spread to have but if you don't have any stickers right now you can also check out my previous video where I show you how you can recreate this sticker effect using only the tools available in GoodNotes <music> A few useful things that you should think about before we begin is what are you going to be adding to this daily spread. If you haven't been planning with a daily spread like I have with the Pro Planner, then it might not be as easy to know what you want to include in this page. Now in my case, because I've been using this, I know exactly what are the things that I want to add to each of my days. Once you have figured out what you want your daily page to have, then we're ready to start. The stickers that I'm going to be using today are actually from the Rainbow Sticker Book. So if you want to follow along with this, I'm going to leave a link below to where you can get this. Okay, so the first thing is to find my white spread, which is at the end of the planner. So you can either go to your last uh, tab here and swipe left, and this is the white page. Or you can always click on your four squares on the top left and then scroll down and you'll find the white page here as well. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is create a copy of this page and I'm actually going to bring it right next to my wiggly spread, which is where I want to keep my daily spreads. So I'm going to go to my squares, click on select, tap on that white page and then click on copy. It's copied. Now click on done, close and I'm going to navigate back to where I was, where I had that weekly spread that you just saw and I believe that was May and it was probably this week, yeah. So after this weekly spread is where I want to insert that white page which is going to be my first daily page for that week. So I'm gonna click on these four squares on the top left and as you can see this is where I'm at right now and if I click on the bottom arrow I'm going to select on add page after and paste page and this is going to paste the page that I have just copied which is this blank page and now we're ready to start okay so first I need to find some stickers where I can put the day of the week so I think I'm gonna go for something simple like this rectangle down here and I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger and I just happen to have the font that is actually used throughout the planner installed. So I can go ahead and select my text to change to that font, which is Marcadores. And that's pretty cool because it's going to make the text really match the look of the rest of the planner. Because as you can see, this is the same font, so it looks neat together. And another cool thing is that with your image tool, you can tap on the sticker and then adjust it a little bit. In this case, it was a little too tall, so I can just make it a little bit shorter and I can turn off my images so that I can reposition and resize my text and make it fit perfectly. Now I want a sticker where I can place the date of that Monday. So I think I'm going to use this one, copy, Go to my planner, paste, and I'm just gonna add the day. For this, I want the Roxana bold font. I can make it a little bit bigger. I can also readjust the size of the sticker. And this is going to be right under the day of the week. So Monday first. And now I want to find something that will work as a divider. I can go for a gray color and I think this little bar here is going to work. So I'm just going to go here and paste it and I want it to be smaller, I want it to be thinner. But I would like it to be longer and what I'm going to do is just copy it and paste it 
and then just stack it on top of each other so that it becomes a longer line kind of like an actual divider and then I can just copy all these three stickers paste them and add them to the other side this is a little too long so I'm gonna go and make it a little shorter and let's go back to my sticker book and now I want a label that will say to do so I can start my to-do list. I think that I will use this one that says important. So I'm going to copy it, paste, and I'm going to crop it. So click on my images, tap on the image, crop, and then rectangle. Just want this first triangle and then paste again. Images, crop, and then I want this other triangle. And I also happen to have that same font that you saw in the sticker that said important. So I can just write here to do. I'm going to make it black so we can see it. And I'm going to change the font to the same font as the sticker. And that is the Sabri font. Okay, I can make it a little bit bigger. And now it's kind of like I made my very own sticker. I just need to align it. And this is my very own to do header. Next, I want to find something that will work as bullets. And that could be like a star or flower or these dots they would work nicely but really I think I'm gonna go for this uh, flower I think that's gonna look cute tap and hold click on paste and these are gonna be tiny so I'm gonna resize them to make them smaller I'll make copies in a second but so this is gonna be my to-do list so I need kind of like a bullet and then I need a line so I can write what I need to do so for that I'm gonna go with my pen tool, a thin option, maybe a little thinner than that, something like this, black, and then use your perfect shape tool to make sure that your line is going to be straight and do something like this. You can adjust as needed so you have enough room to write what you need to do. And I think that this bullet can be a tiny bit bigger around there. And when you're happy with the result, you can just copy this whole thing and then paste it right under. Now, a little tip I have for you, what I do here when I'm pasting different items and I want them to be aligned, I just create a straight line using my perfect shape tool and the pen to align them correctly. So as you can see, this one is like misaligned here. It's like a little too much to the left. So I'm just gonna select this set and adjust it correctly. Now I can copy these two. And again, using this yellow line as a guide, I know where to place them. And I think I'm gonna make this whole thing a little bit smaller and maybe make a couple of more. Now, down here I still have some room. I can actually make this a tiny bit smaller and move my lines to the right. And I'm going to enter a box to keep track of my meals. And let's go to this peach color. And I think I'm gonna use this meal box because it's so straightforward. And I'm going to make it bigger. Okay, I'm sorry, but GoodNotes has been stressing me out so much because every time, not every time, but many times when I want to resize a sticker, it just like tilts it a little bit and there's no way to bring it back. Can you see that it's not straight anymore? It's so annoying. I am really annoyed. I found that, I'm gonna paste it again. If I use the image tool instead of the lasso to resize, this happens less. It still happens sometimes, but much less. So that's kind of a workaround and then just be super careful that you don't accidentally tilt the sticker you know when you're resizing it because you will not be able to bring it back to the original position so that's quite annoying but as i said with the image tool you can get around that issue most of the time okay so i'm just going to resize this a little bit okay and reposition it because i do want to have a little more room down here for my meal because I want to copy this text box and then I want it to read food and two dots. Okay, now I'm gonna create my guide once more here with the perfect shape tool because I've decided that I have a ton of space in between these bullets and I think that I can shorten that space to save some room. So I'm just gonna bring them up a tiny bit each row like this. That looks fine, okay and then I have more room, it doesn't look as cramped. All right, next I'm going to create my schedule here on the right side. So I'm gonna look for a box where I can write down the word schedule. Let's see, I think that we can use this one. And I'm actually going to copy this uh, text box that I had here because I want that same font. And I just wanna change the color to this dark uh, blue. And I'm just gonna 
draw the sticker. Remember, you can deform it a little bit. I don't want to deform it that much because it has a polka dot pattern and if I deform it too much, it's gonna look weird. So just a little bit and then I can grow it just so that the text will fit nicely. Something like that, okay? Activate my images so I can grab the whole thing together here. And next, I'm going to add smaller text boxes because I want the times, okay? This is going to be my schedule part, so I need text boxes. I'm going to justify the text to the right. I want all the text to, like, from the right be moved to the left when I change the, the text for the following hours. So I'm going to place this and then add a thinner line so with my pen tool go on the smallest size or whichever size you want but i want it to be small because i'm gonna create a lot of rows for my schedule so just create a line that was actually too short and i think it is too thin let me just go to a 0.15 millimeter and then something longer i can always just move it out of the screen you know there's no problem if the line was too long then align my hour and when I'm happy with the result, I can just copy these two things, start creating my schedule. Again, I'm going to create a guide here just so that I know how to align my boxes. I think my schedule is going to run from like 7 a.m. to maybe 11 or 12 at night. I haven't counted the boxes, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be enough. You can always readjust in case it's not. But I'm basically just creating a ton of boxes and now I can get rid of these yellow lines. Careful not to touch the black lines, because if you do, you will also delete those. We don't want that. And let me just bring these higher up, somewhere there. And now I can go ahead and change the hours. So this is where you decide if you want to go by 15 minutes, half an hour. Of course, you're going to need a lot more slots if you are going to do times more often than every hour. But I am going to just do hour by hour right now. And my text boxes are too small, which is annoying because I have to grow them each time. So you can learn from my mistake and then just make the text box bigger from the beginning so that any number that you enter will fit without the need of growing the box okay so I actually created too many boxes and I can see that this one here at 10 is a little misaligned I feel like it's too low so I'm just gonna make it bring it up a little bit and I can get rid of these two bottom boxes because I don't need them my schedule will end at 12 and I have enough boxes for that so an option I have is just to make everything bigger so I'll have more room and I can just move this to the right if it gets too long because I have more things to enter here I think I like it like that and then my little header which by the way I totally forgot to change this word it's not Monday it's schedule sorry about that okay so my schedule is done now I forgot that I also wanted somewhere where I can put which month this is for because obviously since this is a white page I'm not gonna have any tab selected uh, from the months here so just to have it somewhere so I'm gonna go and pick a sticker I think maybe this one will work and then just add it somewhere which I'm not sure where let me copy this text box with the same font and this is going to say June okay and then let's turn off my text boxes turn on my images boxes so that I can grow the image and now the opposite and I can always use my image tool and shorten my sticker and now I need to know where to place it I think that for now I'm just gonna place it here at the corner just to like have it visible but not to much in the way something like that okay so it's looking good I think that I'm only missing my exercise my materials I wanted to add a gratitude box and a today box so let's do today let's go find something that works as a header sticker which actually you know what I have this one that says today so that's what I'm going to use so copy and then paste and then I'm going to use my perfect shape tool to create a box around the sticker so let's go with this size of ink something like this I think it looks fine there I have my today box just to keep notes important things to remember now I'll make a box for exercise so let's go maybe to this lilac color this one from here Copy, paste, gonna make it a bit bigger. Create a text box that says exercise. This time I need my box to be a little longer so I can just adjust it using the image tool. 
and just like we created this box I'm going to create another box but actually you know what it was too thin and I think that I even want to redo this box a little thicker I can cut my sticker and paste it on top so that the lines are behind the sticker all right and so now I have to make another box for this one let's go with some orange make sure you have your perfect shape tool selected and then create a box now i'm going to cut this and just paste it on top so that the lines are behind make it a tiny bit bigger and i think i like that let's just make this maybe a purple better yeah okay looking good i'm gonna move this up a tiny bit because i'm running out of space at the bottom here and i still need to add my materials box so I'm just gonna go ahead and create the box with my perfect shape tool. It's just gonna be like a U shape. And now I need a label to write down the word materials. So I'm going to go back to my sticker book and look for something that I could use there. I actually have this box right here. I'm going to copy it, paste, make it bigger. Use my text tool to write down the word materials. And I'm gonna make it a dark gray a little bigger okay awesome lastly i'm just going to create a box for my gratitude log that i want to start having so i'm actually going to copy this text box with this font and write down the word gratitude let's see let's move this a little bit to the left so i have more room this can be moved a little bit to the right i'll make it a little bit smaller and with a pink ink and my perfect shape tool i'm just going to create a box now, if you have this problem where GoodNotes is so exact with your shape that it just will not create a straight line for your rectangle, I found it to be a lot easier to just create a full rectangle. It's like GoodNotes knows that you meant to do a rectangle uh, if you actually close it and not just do the shape that I just showed you. So once you do that, of course, you have this extra bit here. So go to your eraser, make sure that you have this option of erase entire stroke turn to off. And then you can just delete the parts that you don't need, you know, from the box like that. And then you can just adjust the word and that's a little easier. Okay, so this is how I have created my very own daily spread using a few stickers and the tools in GoodNotes 5. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. And if you have any questions, drop me a comment. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. If you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to do so and click on the bell to turn on the notification so you know when the new video is out. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.